How's it going guys? 3.40 a.m. Sunday, 12th of February here in Japan. We have a past level question for nutrition for step one, family medicine for 2CK. A nearly identical question shows up on one of the family medicine forms for 2CK. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram for the channel are down below. Now start the clip. 17 year old boy, he started a vegan diet five months ago. He's otherwise completely healthy and normal. And question is just asking, which of the following should we recommend supplementation for in this patient? Okay, so we're obviously looking for vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin, which we don't see here. And as I just fucking said, this is identical to the family medicine form where OMG B12 isn't listed. So what are we going to recommend? Okay, let's just whip to the answer choice here. We'll go backwards. Choice F, pyridoxine, vitamin B6, wrong fucking answer. All you need to know is that this is supplemented in patients who are taking isoniazid for treatment of tuberculosis. Okay, vitamin B6 deficiency can cause neuropathy. Now we can do a long fucking discussion about all the biochemistry. Okay, B6 is a cofactor for different things, heme synthesis, transaminases, decarboxylation reactions, all that fancy stuff that I don't want to go down into right now. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, pantothenic acid, wrong answer, vitamin B5. Garbage vitamin, never seen as cest on USMLE. Okay, so in theory, required for the synthesis of coenzyme A. Okay, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, magnesium, wrong answer. So what you need to know, cofactor for over 300 enzymes. What they want you to know for USMLE is hypomagnesemia is seen in alcoholics. It's dietary deficiency because they fill up on alcohol. It's nothing to do with malabsorption. What they want you to know is that the way this presents is going to be a patient who has low calcium or low potassium that is non-responsive slash refractory to supplementation. So say dude's an alcoholic or he's washed up from the street and his calcium's low. They give him calcium, doesn't really go up appreciably. What's the next best step in management? Answer, check serum magnesium levels. Not difficult. I've made a couple of YouTube questions on it discussing this. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, iron, wrong answer. So, I mean, look, iron, obviously, if uh, in heme iron form, which is better absorbed by the intestines, which we, by the duodenum, which we get through meat, which he's not going to have here, non-heme iron in plants, such as spinach, okay, very good, very rich source of iron. So you could make an argument for, well, could we could be vigilant for iron levels, right? Yeah, it's not outrageous. It's not a bad answer. It's fucking wrong, but it's not what you assembly wants. I mean, if we had a female, menses, okay, then we'd want to be more careful in particular. Uh, they don't even have to be heavy menses. They'll tell you straight up in the family medicine question, they'll say menses are normal. Menses are not heavy, okay? And a uh, female can still have iron deficiency anemia. We look for things like pica, okay? Eating ice, clay, starch. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B folate is wrong. And the reason it's wrong, it, this is vitamin B9, folic acid. The reason it's wrong is because B9 is plentiful in green leafy vegetables, okay? So... This is tricky, however, because stores of folate only last about two to four months. So folic acid deficiency is actually the most common vitamin deficiency. So for instance, alcoholics, yeah, they can get thiamine deficiency, but they can also get folate deficiency. They actually get folate deficiency more often than thiamine deficiency. As I just said, folate is more common. So this is something we want to think about, of course, in patients who have poor uh, dietary intake. But plentiful. It's replete in green leafy vegetables. So that's why it's wrong. Also, they want folic acid deficiency for tea and toast diet in an elderly patient. There's a question on one of the family medicine forums. They say 82 year old woman, husband died six months ago. She's been on a tea and toast diet. She's got high MCV and they list B9 and B12 as answers and answers B9, B12 is wrong. Okay. And you say, well, couldn't it also be, couldn't it also be B12? Yeah, it could be, but B12 stores last longer, up to a couple years. Wrong fucking answer. Choice A, calcium, correct answer. Okay, so, I mean, as I said, it's on the family medicine form. So, essentially, your take-home is, in a vegan, 
we worry about B12 first because B12 is classically in meats, okay? And we're only on a plant diet here. But calcium is the second answer Yosemite wants after B12 for vegans, something we have to look for, okay? For deficiency slash to recommend calcium is normally in fish. Get it in meats as well, but fish, milk, dairy, okay? So this is just a basic nutrition question. And if you're not sure, right, you're seeing this question, we eliminated to get there. That's what we did. You know the deal, make two, make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.